Uh, hello, my name is Anthony Hall and this is a basic tutorial on how to model a uh, Cadbury's cream egg. So I've started by collecting some, uh, or shall I say collecting an image of a cream egg so I can use as a guide. What I'm going to start with doing is going to edit backdrop options and in my bottom right, so if I go on to bottom right, I'm going to load up okay like so next is what I'm going to do I'm going to go to create and I'm going to draw out uh, using the ball the rough size uh, to fix to fit against this actual image before I do that what I'll do is I'll go down to you it says T for texture and when it says none go to new I'm going to create a blank UV so I can assign it to the ball when I make it so now I'm ready to create my uh, egg main shape of it so I'm going to go to ball press numerical put the wireframe so I'm using uh, the globe t type access is X and basically what I've done is just sized it and stretched it using the the orange handles so it's roughly the size here I mean most cream eggs they go a slightly smaller as you go towards the top which we can do that as well so I'll drop the selection what I'll do is I'll go to uh, let's go to modify taper constraints uh, and this has a numerical to it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick with the default. And if you want to right mouse click, this moves around this little uh, triangle to give you an area of influence. So once you've moved it up, so basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to drag this top bit of the egg in slightly. So in the top view, if I Go side to side in and out. You can see here at the top look, it's coming in slightly. I don't want it to come in a lot. I just want to make it come in very slightly, like so. And again, if you hold right mouse click, you can pull it to the bottom. And then in the top view, do a similar thing where it will go wider. It's quite a handy little tool, like so. So next, what I want to do is I want to make these grooves that go around uh, the cream egg, like so and there's what one two on each side and then one going through the middle I believe so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select edges from the bottom and then what I'm going to do is let's select a couple of edges so like so then go to select loop and I'll select the loop of it I'm going to hold shift and select two of the next loop of edges and again loop choose two of the top and loop and then continue and select the actual same to the opposite side so we'll do it all at once uh, so let's loop and loop so what I've got currently is the looped edges of the area what I'm going to use to actually make an extra row of polys inside here a thin row that I can that I can smooth shift in so why I've got them selected I go to multiply chamfer and then if we click and drag out what it will do it will chamfer out the edges leaving a new row of polys like so so drop the selection so next all we need to do is switch to polygon mode. I'm going to select a couple of polys along the new row of polygons and loop it. And then I'm going to repeat this on all the new rows of polys. so okay next what I'm going to do is smooth shift 
we're going to bring up the numerical now i've already experimented a little bit with this beforehand so let's try minus five we'll say five millimeters so it's sucking the polygons in five mil okay like so and then drop the selection so at this stage what we want to do if you go to construct and go down to uh, set sub patch what it will do will smooth the object off like so uh, the, if you look next to it, it says uh, sub patch it will actually tell you a shortcut which is the tab key so you can just tab between them at any time you want okay so at this stage what we're going to do is have a go at doing the actual star in the center so again i'm going to go down to edges and i'm going to choose uh, the edges roughly let's have a look yeah they're roughly about right we'll use chamfer chamfer them out like so giving you these extra row of polys drop the selection switch to polygons I'm going to select for the top and the bottom the next like as a sharper it, it creates a sharper point poly I'm going to select those because in the actual image it looks like they're quite a bigger so like so and then select the other bits and again smooth shift it's default before well, it's minus 10 so let's put in minus 5 oh not 5 meters <laughs> let's put 5 mil there we go so it sucks in them in now I've made a mistake here in fact I've made two mistakes one is I haven't set this selected the middle polygon and the other is I haven't done the other side so let's just undo this back to that selection I'm going to jump back here and select the other side of edges so we can do it all at once but like I said before I think the problem is with this is it is quite uniform it's more of a perfect cream egg and they're not really perfect they've got dints and if we go back to this they're quite rough some of the front bit comes out a bit more these go in a bit but this is just more about the tools and getting you the basic shape so I've got the edges selected we use a chamfer chamfer them out like so got the selection I'm going to switch to polygons hold shift and select all the polys making sure I've got the two sharp edges do the same on the other side and then we'll use smooth shift I mean it's minus five and go a bit fear if you want oops undo that you must remember to select the middle poly or it'll just stay there that's it so this is minus eight currently which I'll leave it at that let's have a little look so there's a cream egg with the actual dints and everything in and as I mentioned before when we actually first started I made a placeholder for a UV placeholder for the egg which I assigned to the numer egg numerical so if we switch this to uh, UV there's the UV for the egg as well so you just need to go down to the bottom to set surface just call it egg and then what you'll have is a is the actual uh, egg surface ready to be textured with either a wrapper or again you can use chocolate or whatever but hopefully this has introduced you a few tools but also got you a 
basic, even if it's quite uniformed, Cadbury's cream egg uh, to use in one of your seams. So thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.